This is Cody with Liquid Laboratory Studio. Today we'll show you how not to crash your drones. We got the new Mavic Pro drone and the new Phantom 4 Pro drone. The first thing you want to do is inspect the aircraft. You're going to look at the outer housing and uh, the seams. You look for any kinds of cracks or damage um, from flying or being stepped on. Uh, looks pretty good. Then you're going to check the actual um, mobility of the arms and legs. Uh, you want to close them completely. So those are decent. And then look for any kind of missing screws on it. So all the screws are there. So now we're going to move on to the antennas. You want to inspect the antennas, make sure they're secure. Inside here you actually have the antenna and it's generally facing down. They're somewhat parallel and it kind of depends on distance it's moving. So what a lot of people don't know is actually with antennas you want them to be parallel to each other, kind of at this angle. It's going to send the signal up to it. So that's your maximum signal. The minimal signal is actually whenever these are facing direct each other. There's no surface area. So what's going to happen as the aircraft changes, the position changes. So you're going to actually want to reposition them. Um, if it's going to be near you, you can actually put them at a 45 degree angle and it'll, it'll work. Further away, you would want them actually as parallel as you can get, like sticking straight out. Parallel as you can get, okay? Next thing you want to do is we're going to check the battery. Okay, push it. We got four bars, it's generally pretty good. And then push it in, make sure it's seated. Over here, check the controller, it's 99%. And uh, see the antennas on here are still attached and good to go. All right, so next you want to inspect the blades. This is the leading edge, which is the fat edge, and this is the trailing edge, the thin edge. It pushes the air underneath it for lift. Um, so look for any kind of cracks, breaks, or damage. These are made out of a carbon fiber, which means they're very brittle. If they strike even a thin branch, they can actually crack and send the aircraft plummeting into the ground. So, another consideration. Um, they're basically hardened. So if you look over here, you want to test the flexibility of these blades. Okay. Next thing, you want to make sure they're properly seated. You can kind of just twist them. Um, if you look at them, this has no circle on it, and this one has a circle on it. And you'll line them up actually. This is white circle on white, and then black on black. With these blades, before you fly the aircraft, you want to actually extend them fully out. You don't want a blade getting locked in place like this, it's going to send the aircraft off. Okay, next. You want to inspect the gimbal here. Uh, you have to remove these clamps every time you fly it. Uh, you'll get a gimbal overload code. So take a look, make sure everything's good. It moves freely. And before it takes off, it's actually going to do a gimbal range calibration. It'll move all the way over on one axis and it'll move the very opposite direction and it will center down and then move back forward. Next thing you want to do is you'll go into the uh, app settings and uh, you're going to check out the IMU which is basically the motion sensors and tells the direction. Uh, then you also want to and you'll do a, you can do a calibration of the visual sensors um, in the app it will tell you when they're ready and there's also two visual sensors down here with a sonar on the bottom. Inside here, uh, everything's redundant. So you have two compasses and two satellite systems. Um, the satellite systems is GPS and Glossus, basically the Russian version. First thing you want to do is enter the app. Power on the aircraft, push once and hold. Push once and hold on the controller. It'll connect. Right now the gimbal is doing its test. doing basic checks. I'm going to go and fly. And right now it's picking up satellites. Picking up satellites. All right, it's ready to go. I'm gonna push the sticks down, lock it up. Cover. Testing the resistance. Go back over.
First thing you want to do is inspect the housing. You want to look for any cracks, bends, or breaks. Uh, it could have happened in flight or when re during resting. And then you look below, make sure all the screws are in while you're inspecting for cracks. Then you move on to the battery. You want to push it, make sure it has bars. Um, this one's good enough, but it should be four bars before you fly it. Next thing, uh, just hit the button once and it comes up as four bars, which is good. The next thing you want to do is look at the actual um, antennas here. Um, these are the antennas. They make up the landing gear and make sure they're intact and not loose and not broken because you'll lose signal. A little bit about the antennas, how the science of it works. These actually work parallel. So the aircraft will be up here and it sends a signal. So you want these uh, antennas in alignment, parallel. Um, the worst actual uh, position could be is when the tips are actually facing the aircraft. There's literally almost no signal because there's no surface area. So kind of a rule of thumb is if you're at a distance, you'll actually have the antennas facing like this or if you know you're going to be flying kind of close and, and, and overhead, this, as you can see, kind of just splits the difference. Then you want to inspect the blades. Uh, these blades are actually made out of a plastic composite. They're pretty strong. Um, I was grabbing the drone out of a bush once and it, it sliced my finger pretty good. Better than losing your drone though. So on this blade you have actually what's the leading edge, which is this fat part, and the trailing edge. So you just want to inspect it make sure it's smooth. Look for damage. And then on here, you actually have a black ring and a silver ring. The silver and the white will line up, and the black with the black dots located right here in the center will line up. Um, so when you put the blades on, you will turn them the direction of the arrows, the lock, and then you'll check them and make sure they're in place. And another thing is these can actually, you can purchase guards for these. Some of them disable the sensors on these, and other ones don't. Um, so when you go to get guards, make sure you get the ones that don't disable the obstacle avoidance systems. And now we're going to check, inspect the gimbal. You want to remove the gimbal cover and check it for motion mobility. Look for any kind of damage, cracks, check the wires. It's good. And we'll go into the app. Inside the app, you'll be able to actually do some calibrations. There's the IMU, which checks the, the motion and momentum of the uh, aircraft. It's kind of like a gyro. And then you also have these visual sensors. On the Phantom 4 Pro, it has them on the front, the bottom, and the rear. And it also has other sensors on the sides. So it actually has six axes of sensors. And also down at the bottom, you have these two sonar for telling distance away from the ground. And the other thing is never grab or pull or hold the aircraft by the antennas. You can actually damage the aircraft or send it plummeting into the ground. Uh, make sure you land it and take it off and you're standing at a distance. It'll self-land, but there's some uh, aviation science behind that. First thing you want to do is make sure you're in an open area, a field is preferred, and um, you want to power everything up. Press once and hold the button, and you'll open the DJI app, and you'll power up the controller. Right now the gimbal is doing its calibration test. ready to go fly. All right, so we're going to keep the aircraft in line of sight um, so you can see it and it's a safety thing. And also inside the app, it disables uh, over 400 feet high, so you have to keep it under 400 feet. And it will go out as far as you have radio signal, but you definitely want to keep an eye on it. Um, inside there, there's a beginner mode. and. In the beginner mode, you can actually, it'll be a limited space, so you can practice flying. So what the app is doing right now, it's calibrating the vision sensors. And we're ready to launch. Put the two thumbsticks together and get in the air.
Thank you for watching. Click here to subscribe.